Hi everyone, my name is Mallory Albright, I'm the marketing manager here at Sundog, and in this week's Tech Tip video, we will be discussing Power Toys and Windows. Power Toys is a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline their Windows experience for greater productivity and efficiency. So let's dive in and explore. If you're wanting to install Power Toys, please use the instructions found in the description below. If you are a Sundog client, reach out to our support team to get started. Alright, so the first feature that I'm going to show you with Power Toys is the Always on Top feature. The Always on Top is a quick and easy way that you can pin windows to the front of your monitor. Um, no matter what you have going on, that window is going to stay front and center. So let's get a couple examples out. I have our home page to our site and I'm also going to pull up our YouTube page. Now to do this as you would have seen in the power toys section there is a hotkey of Windows Control T that will make the always on top feature work. So I'm going to put the home page as the one that's always on top so control Windows T and now you can see around the whole window we have this blue box. Now if I wanted to move this YouTube page I can't put it on top. It will always go behind. Now if I wanted to deactivate this I would click on the window do control Windows T and now it's deactivated. So the next Power Toys feature is probably my favorite, and that is the Color Picker tool. It is a quick and simple system-wide color picker um, that doesn't require you to log into a program such as Adobe or Canva in order to use. Um, you have it available to you at any time if you install Power Toys. Um, so again, to activate it, we have to use the activation shortcut. Um, as you can see right now, it is Windows Shift C on my computer. So I'm going to do the Windows Shift C. And now next to my cursor, you're going to see a little box, and it's currently white, but then it has a couple different uh, letters and number combinations. So if I move this across the screen, you're going to see that this uh, code and the color is going to change. So I'm going to choose this little image up here at the top, and I'm going to select this color by just clicking. And now it's going to bring up a pop-up. And now it's going to show on the left-hand side all of the colors that I've chosen in the past. It's going to give me a gradient so I could even choose something just slightly off from that color. And then it also gives me the hex code, the RGB code, and the HSL code. Now I can even copy that. So if I wanted to copy that hex code and then open my Adobe programs, I just saved myself so much more time by just opening up the Power Toys um, feature. The next really cool feature of Power Toys is the Fancy Zone. So make sure you have Enable Fancy Zones on. Mine's currently on. And I'm going to click on the Launch Layout Editor to get started on creating my own template. They already have some for you, and you might be good with some of those, but if you have way too many windows or way too many tabs like me, then you might want to come up with your own custom layout. So let's create a new layout and I'm going to choose grid and I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to hit create. So it gives you instructions. So for a splitter you can hold shift key for vertical split. Um, you can click and drag across the zones to merge or delete them. Um, and then keyboard navigation rules are there as well. So let's get started. I'm going to split some of these up. So I'm just clicking directly where that line is. Let's say I just want to have six. But then maybe I decided to change my mind. I'm going to hold shift and drag. And then when I let go of my mouse there'll be a merge zones and then I can click there and it will merge three again so now I have five in total so let's say I want to save and apply those settings and now we have a tech tip layout
These are just some of the many power toys utilities available to help you optimize your Windows experience. Try them out and see how they can improve your productivity and efficiency. If there is a feature that you would like us to dive deeper into, let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe for more content like this. Thank you again for tuning into this week's tech tip video and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.